Hello again. Just got a short disturbing little video. Uh, I'm going to attach the link. You're not going to have to look for it. It's dated uh, June the 20th, which happens to be today. Idaho. Muslim migrants rape five-year-old, hold knife to her throat, strip her naked, rape, and urinate on her. Now, <laughs> this is the same peaceful, loving religion that Barack Hussein Obama belongs to, and I think a whole lot of others do as well. And you have to wonder about this holy book that they keep referring to, the Holy Quran. And there's excerpts that they show you in the Holy Quran that allows Muslims to take their captives as sex slaves. This little five-year-old girl wasn't a captive. I wonder if these Muslims were brought in by the Chosen One or if they crossed our open borders. Either way, it doesn't matter. This is the same Holy Quran that a judge was sworn in on. The same Holy Quran that two members of Congress were sworn in on. How can such an evil book be used to swear people in on? I think it's the same Holy Quran that Obama was sworn in on when Judge Roberts flubbed the first breaking in of the new POTUS. This is totally insane. These Muslims should have their balls cut off and stuffed down their throats. But they won't. In their religion, that peaceful religion, it's acceptable. It's just doing business. You know the Holy Quran? Huh? I'm going to attach the link. You can take a look at it. It's a real short little video. Absolutely, totally and completely insane. Raping a five-year-old girl. You think her life will ever be normal? Would yours? With these savage beasts slobbering all over her? A five-year-old. I guess they couldn't find a goat like they use in their homeland. You know, that's what we should do. We should be giving them goats that might pacify their savage lust for sex. But then that wouldn't be fair to the goat, would it? Sick. Real sick.